What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And ladies and gentlemen, you guys know the deal. We got ourselves another banger of a video. We got ourselves a Life Orb Garchomp alongside with an Unburdened Psychic Seed Drifflin team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. We're closing in on 7,000 subscribers. That is insane to me. Thank you guys so much. But, yo, this team right here was sent in by my boy Justin. Justin, shout out to you, my dude. Thank you so much for dropping this team. I cannot wait to get after it. It just appealed my eyes real quick. I saw it. I was like, yo, this team's looking fire. I'm going to get after it try to get some wins on that rank ladder with it. But rocking out on it in the top left corner, getting started with Kartana over here, an amazing Ultra Beast with the Beast Boost ability, Assault Vest as his item, and then normal moveset for it with Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, Aerial Ace, and Smart Strike. Right next to it, another great Pokemon we got in Cinemore with that Intimidate and Figgy Berry. Nothing new here. Just a great Pokemon for basically any team. It has Fake Out, Parting Shot, Taunt, and Flare Blitz. Behind my face cam is the one and only Tapu Lele. I, actually, I absolutely love this Pokemon right here with the Psychic Surge and that Expert Belt. That Psychic Surge will actually help out that Drift Blim it has the psychic seeds and unburdened but tapu lele over here has the expert belt for super effective moves makes it do more damage then we got protect moon blast psychic and t-bolt for coverage drift blim on the right side once his psychic seeds get proc its speed will go through the roof then we can set up a tailwind we can willow with uh physical attackers we can strength that physical attackers and get hp back and then we just have shadow ball as our only hitting move Bottom left corner, the one and only Garchomp, another Pokemon that is going to absolutely be a beast for us with that rough skin ability. So when physical attacks hit us, we're going to do a little bit of damage back to him. And this thing is probably going to be the Pokemon that does most of the damage on this team. Same thing with Kartana, but this thing has Dragon Claw, Rock Slide, EQ, Dragon Claw, and EQ being both our stab moves. Final spot is another great Pokemon that is just sitting back, doing a little bit of support, doing a little bit of damage. We got Suicune with the inner focus, cannot be faked out. We got the Citrus Berry for more HP. We got Protect, Scald for damage and potential burns. Snarl to actually drop special attack and Helping Hand to help out our big ear uh, hitting Mons. But guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Come on, what is this? What is this? Look at our first battle going up against a staple team in the meta right now. It is a Glaciary Weakness Policy team. I actually used this team before. I have it in my rental codes. It's a very, very strong team. Hopefully we can make something happen to end up winning it, but this one's going to be tough. Everybody knows this team is very, very good. He has the Glaciary, alongside with the Dust Cops combo, can proc the Weakness Policy. He also has Incineroar, Tapu Fini, Indeedy, and Dragapult. Actually, is Dragapult on the policy in this? One of them has the policy, so got to watch out for that. Kind of scary. Um, I am going to go Tapu Lele and Driplin, potentially outspeed and get a burn up on him. That could be good, turn one. I definitely want to bring Garchomp as well. Everybody loves themselves a nice little Garchomp. And then do I bring Incineroar or Kartana? Hmm. Incineroar is not bad here either. Really not bad. I mean, that thing's probably clear bodied that Dragapult, so I kind of want to go into Kartana just for that. And he kind of counters up on the Finny. Hmm. I really want to go into this. It's either Kartana or Incineroar. I'm kind of leaning more towards Incineroar slot. But at the same time, Kartana's not a bad choice. I kind of want another big attacker. So we're going to go Kartana. We are going to go Kartana. Final decision. Slap the button. Gabble's hitting on the table. 10 years with Kartana. That's what we're doing. All right. Let's roll out here. But yeah, this team's definitely scary. I kind of saw it. I was like, bruh, I, I don't know how to feel about this one. I don't know how to feel about this one. So we might get absolutely murked here, but hopefully we can make something happen. At least have a decent match. But he's definitely going to lead on the proc policy, right? That's got... Oh, no, he's not. He's going to go Klopskis and indeed Dubrably. That's fine. That's fine. She didn't even have to leave my jump in. Uh, I don't think I set up a Tailwind. I really don't think I set up a Tailwind. I just think I start getting after it. Start throwing some Shadow Balls. Like a Surge is popping on both ends. Probably going to set up a Trick Room. So no Tailwind needed. No Burns needed right now. They're both special attackers. Well, Dust Cops is physical, but it's just like, bro. Do I really need to put a Burn on him? There's my Seeds. We got our Special Defense boosted, which I really, really like. Same thing with Indeedee. Okay, I see you, Indeedee. Don't play games with me. He's going to frisk me up. See my Expert Belt? That's totally fine there. That's totally fine. We're going to go for that Psychic move over. And this thing can follow me, which is kind of scary. So at the same time, I kind of just want to... I don't want to know. I think this thing's dropping expanding force. I'm not even gonna lie. We go here, and I said we just go with Shadow Ball. We think he's gonna follow me. That's the real problem. That's the real problem. Hmm. I don't think he's gonna follow me. I really don't think he's gonna follow me here. I really don't see that happen. Yeah, see, I don't see a follow me happen here. We're gonna double through on the Suscop slot. Try to do as much damage as we can. Not bad damage for a Evo Light right there. 
like he's gonna pop through here. He's definitely setting up Trick Room and then probably Expanding Forcing. I had to guess. Let's see. Yeah, Expanding Force coming out here. Chill on me. Yo, chill on me real quick. Don't kill me. We eat up all day. That's Tasty Snack. Not effective. And Trick Room is popping. Okay, yeah. We kind of saw that coming. Um, I think I just Moon Blast. This thing could go for a follow me. So I'm thinking I just Moon Blast over here. You know, I'm going to Psychic. And I am going to, uh... We get some HP back on the drift one. Could start throwing burns. Could start throwing burns. Because we are not in Misty Terrain, so Psychic Terrain can eat that up, right? Yeah, right? No, Psych Psychic Terrain should be fine. Then. So we do that. I'm with it. Is he going to drop another Expanding Force? No, she's going to start Willowism. That's totally fine. That's fine by me. So we are going to be able to take out the Dusk Ops and get a burn over on there. But the burn doesn't really affect her too much. She's special attacking. Same thing with Indeedy. We should be able to eat up just fine. Just be dandy. And I could potentially strength that next turn. I really like. I mean, maybe should have strength that this turn. Get some HP back. That probably would have been a play. But Dust Cops does go down, which is huge. So he doesn't have that burn anymore. He doesn't have that burn to affect my physical attackers. Willow is going to pop out here. We're going to set a nice little burn over here. Right, that's fair. I'm definitely going to strength that next turn, I think. I think that's the play. Maybe protect the uh, Lele. Is he going to bring out somebody he, he, that he wants to die in Max in the trick room? Probably Glacier. But good thing I did take out that, uh... Good thing I did take out that desktop. So now he can't proc policy on his own. I could just start trying to get burns off. He is going to send out the Glacier. Which is fair. Which is fair. I, hopefully he doesn't go for another, uh... Hopefully he doesn't go for another, uh... He's going to go after my, uh... My, what's it called? So there's no point of, uh... I think I just drop a Moonblast. There's no point in protecting... I think I just drop a Moon Blast and I try to get a burn off on this thing. But if I can, that would be lovely. He's not maxing the Glacier. That's probably facts. Probably facts. Alright, so I do not need a Trick room. I really don't need a Trick room. But the thing is, hopefully he goes after my Lele and I'm able to get off a burn on this thing. That would be very clutch. That would be very clutch. And the Ice is definitely scary considering that dominates on my guard. So I need to save my guard champ for a decent turn. In order to get him in and probably Dynamax him and win this game. But if you're to follow me, yeah. Follow me, he's starting to pop out. I couldn't I couldn't do anything. I probably should have strength that in that case. But he's going to go for the Hailstorm onto my Drift one, which is fair. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I get out Kartana now. He's going to start chilling Nang, which sucks, which absolutely stinks. Which does, it, 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 that's awful. That is awful. He's going to start doing that stuff and things. Going is gonna boost this dude. He's getting boosted up. But I think Trick Room should be uh how many turns left? I gotta start protecting, kinda of protecting out here. We got the blasting of the moons. Built doing some doing a little bit of damage. Burn's gonna do a little bit and buff it around on both my Lele and Indeedy. But yeah, everybody knows that my boy Glacier is tough. He's a tough he's a tough old customer. He's a tough old customer all day. I get hurt by the burn. Uh Cartana has to come out here. This, uh, again, the way I win this game is gonna be my guard job. It's going to be my guard jump. Actually, I could Dynamax Cartana. I could Dynamax at Cartana, but what moves does this thing have? It's probably an ice move. There's no way it's rock and flare, right? I might Dynamax Cartana. Pack the Lele here. I could totally Dynamax Cartana. It is possible. But how many turns left in Trick Room? That's my that's that's the real question, because I don't want him out to be there's two. Hmm. I don't really want to Dynamax Cartana here. That's the problem. And I don't want to proc policy. Another problem. So I think I just smart strike over onto the NDD. What do I leaf blade? Either or should be pretty decent. And that never misses. But I'd rather leaf blade try to do as much damage as I can. Yeah, let's go here. I don't want to. I don't want to Dynamax this thing. This thing's gonna end up helping handing. Protect NDD. He's going after my uh, Cartana, which stinks. I should attack. I should have attacked. But I can guard next turn, which is huge. Which is huge. Knuckles gonna come through. E yo, chill on me. Go after Lele, please. Nope, he just jumps on my car tonight. Now he's plus three. Bro, what you mean? What you mean? I think he's gonna read the guard, though. I think he is gonna read the guard, but I feel like I have to soak hard. It's such a pain, dude. This is so annoying. This is so annoying. Buffets come out. Burns and all that. Tough news, man. Tough news. Wish I had like ally switch or something on this. But I gotta bring out guard chomp. I knew this one was gonna be a tough one. I knew this one was gonna be a tough one. I gotta bring out guard chomp. I have to guard. That's a fact. I have to guard. 
Do I think that he thinks that I'm gonna guard? That's my that's my problem. But I don't want to give him that next Dynamax turn, right? You know what I'm saying? But I think I just uh, I think I just Moonblast over on this thing. Actually, I could go for a T-Bolt over on you. No, I'd rather Moonblast over on you. Deal some damage. Probably take that out and just guard and just guard here. Hey, that's gotta be play. That's gotta be turn number one. But of course, when I'm trying to show up a cool team, we're going up against a top meta team. They're so tough to play against. They're so tough to play against. There should be like there should be like a separate ladder where it's like these Pokemon are banned. But it's not like rent. It's not ranked. Like just like a fun ladder that you can use. Like so like Glacier won't be in there. Like all top tier meta Pokemon won't be in it. It'll be a lot of fun. I feel like that'd be cool if they added that. He's gonna go for the follow me. That's fair. Um, I'm fine with that. Trick him ends after this too. Maybe we can get it. Maybe, hopefully Glacier goes after us with a... No, he, he reads us hard, man. I knew he was going to read us. I knew he was going to read us, too. I knew it! That was my way out, too. He might he might block up. He's just going to follow me here. Dude, he's boosted. He's boosted. He's going to drop me with an Icicle Crash, which is totally scary. I need to get that NDD out of the way right now. So, that was tough. I think this one's definitely over. Even though he's not Dynamax and Icicle Crash coming in hot. I'm gonna do so much damage. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. Okay, so Trickham's gone. He's definitely following me again. Rough battle. Rough battle here. We're definitely gonna try to make it up for battle number one, too. Just a tough team to go up against, and everybody knows that. Alright, Glacier. What you want, fool? Do I drop a rock, change up the weather? Wait, quick. Who could your third Pokemon be? I'm out speedy, I know that. Probably a special attacker. It's probably Finny. I have to guess it's probably Finny. And I don't like that one bit. I'm just drop a rock. Rock is gonna help me. You know, we're just gonna quake. Uh, we are gonna rock. We're gonna drop a big old rock on this thing. But again, he's just gonna he's gonna uh follow me. Yeah. Glacier, miss. I need you to miss. Do me a favor, buddy. Miss your attack. Miss your icicle crash. I will give you $50 cash. Cash, dude, just think about it. Yo, Glacier, do me a favor, think about it. I got the cash. I got it. it it's in the other room. All you gotta do is just say, yo, I'm gonna miss this turn so I can win this match. I gotta win this match. An extra 75 if I win. Icicle crash. Yo, he wants the money. He wants the money. Yo, my boy wants the money. <laughs> Yo, my boy wants the money. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, Glacier, you're up to $50. Here comes the Finny. This is a tough one for me. But, yo, Finny, this goes in for you, too. Glacier is on. Let me explain the story, Tapu. Let me explain the story for you. No, no, no. Stop talking. Stop talking, Tapu, Finny. I got you. I got you. Okay, so Glacier over here just missed an attack for 50 bucks. So I own $50. Fair and square. That's fine. That's fine. I'll get it after this battle. But, yo. If you guys let me win, that's an extra 25 for both of you. So, Finny, you'll get 25, and Glacier, you'll get 75. Do me a favor, think about it. You guys can talk it over. You guys can talk it over. But, just letting you guys know, that that's always an option. That is always an option. Alright. You guys talk it over? Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. I knew he was going to protect. I knew he was going to protect that biscuit, man. Biscuit, dude. That buttery biscuit. Should've went for the Quake over on the uh, Finny slot. Let's see if they talked it over. Let's see if they talked it over. I don't think we're winning this one. Unless they start missing. There goes this thing policy. But again, I outspeed that thing. I'll dump it next turn. I need that thing out of here more than the, uh, the Finny. See what the Finny's gonna go for. A Calm Mind. Alright. I outspeed that thing. He's gonna, he's gonna take me out here. I need, I need Glacier going here. Thing is, do I even take out Glacier with this? Do I even take out Glacier with a Rock Ball? I don't even have Rock Ball. I need to go for flinches. Again, yo, money's on the table, Finny and Glacier. Money is on the table. I'm going to drop some Rock Slides on you guys. Maybe you guys do a little bit of flinch action. We kind of roll off from there. That's up to you guys. That, that is up to you guys. Your trainer doesn't need to know about the money. You guys just come to me a little bit later in the day when your trainer's asleep or something. And we, and, we, and we make something happen. Here goes the rock side. Connects. We're doing some nice damage. I just need a flinches. Show me some flinches. Show me some flinchies. No flinches? Yo, are you kidding me? That's game. That's GG. Sorry, Gar. Sorry, Gar Chomp. Yo, GG, guys. Uh, Glacier, I'm not giving you your 50 bucks. You can pound sand. 
I was just messing around with you. But yeah, we got 0-1. We can hop into our second battle and try to get ourselves a win for today's video. Wiggly Tough? What is this, yo? I'm a little confused right here. Hopping into our second battle, and I just seen Wigglytuff. And I don't really know what it does. Every other Pokemon is pretty normal for this meta, but Wigglytuff. So I feel like he has something up his sleeve wrong with that thing. Um, who should I go into? He has the Dragapult, he has Celesteel, he has the Urshifu, he has the Incineroar. I kind of want to go that same lead with the Lele and Driftwind. And then, uh, do I roll Gar? Holy man. Gar and Incineroar is not bad. Incineroar is not bad here. I am like an Incineroar. I think I should go Gar and Incineroar. Star Chomp Incineroar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or. Nah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Alright. I'm with it. The boy's with it. Alright, let's roll it. Let's run it. Let's get it. Let's get after it. I'm liking this one. Let's keep Cartana out this one. We don't really need him too, too much. We'll get the Riven with our other Pokemon. So let's steal it. Uh, I don't know if that thing's really posing too much for me. I mean, I have my Incineroar, which can counter that thing decently. I was gonna bring Suicune in. I was gonna bring Suicune. Suicune's not a bad option here. It really isn't. But my problem is going to be, I feel like, the Drift. Which I have my Drift one here, so if he leads it, I can just throw a burn on it. Try to get after it right away. Just neglect it. Same thing with that Urshifu. I can throw a burn on that thing too, get, get after that thing so it doesn't do as much damage. But I know my Drift. I don't know if. Actually, I know Drift one will outspeed the Urshifu. But I do not know if the Unburdened Driftwind will outspeed the Dragonfly. That's that's something I personally don't know. So that's something I'm like hoping. I'm hoping that that Unburdened can just like get out of my face. Let's see who he leads. He's going to go into Wigglytuff and Indeedee. And this is something that I'm scared of. What are you going to do, Wigglytuff? I'm very confused with you. I am very confused with you, Wigglytuff. I do have my Psychic to come out here in a Psychic Surge, which isn't bad. I got my Unburdened. I could set up a Tailwind, which I probably will do. Which I probably will do. Actually, we probably outspeed regardless, right? I don't think I really need a tailwind right now. Special defense. Oh, you seeding too? Yeah. What do you do, Wigglytuff? I'm confused. Just leave me alone. I'm getting after you. I'm getting after you, sweetheart. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna tailwind. I am just gonna tailwind. Jeans is just gonna tailwind. He's gonna go for a follow me. That's totally fine. So what are you doing, Wiggle? Wiggles, what are you doing? Please don't tell me you're a trick room setter. Please don't tell me you're a trick room setter. That would throw me off. It's like it comes out. Yo, do a little bit of damage over onto you. Not very effective, but still a decent amount of damage. Don't tell me you're a trick room. You're gonna, oh, he's an expanding force. You're a normal Pokemon, though. I was gonna say, you're a normal Pokemon here. Okay. That's fine. I don't wanna get rid of this Indeedy now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna throw a burn over on it. I'm just gonna throw a burn over on it. Just start burning up Pokemon. Left and right. You can always trend sap. I got the speed now. I do have the speed now, so we're thriving here. I cannot go for the Shadow Ball. That's why I'm not going for the Shadow Ball. But then I just throw the burn on it instead. We do have a Tailwind up. Uh, I can trend sap at any time and get some HP back. Which is fine. I'll just, I'll just slow this match down right here. We'll get the Psychic off. Doing a little bit of damage. Next Psychic should take it out. Though so I am going to, uh. I'm going to roll into a Strength Sap here and Psychic again. I'm going to take out NDD and I'm just going to Strength Sap get my HP back. I like that. I like that play. Psychic 100% over on you. And then I'll just Strength Sap over onto the Wigglytuff. Which is thriving. Just, which is a decent turn here. We'll get rid of the NDD. But is Wigglytuff just here for expanding forces? Hmm. I would love to keep my Drifflem in here for a little bit longer. So he's gonna withdraw and which I like that. I like that a lot. Dragapult's gonna come out here. And I'm gonna get a burn off on that thing next turn. I do outspeed all day. I do outspeed all day. Really tough's going to protect. That's fine. I do not get off my strength sap, but I, I, I'll outspeed this thing all day. Strength sap's gonna get blocked. But a psychic is gonna go after that thing, which is huge. The psychic getting some damage off on that thing. Oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. I don't even need to burn that thing anymore. Is Lele going to outspeed it? Let me see Lele's speed. I know Drift one will. So I might just go after it with the Drift one. Because Drift one will 100% outspeed that thing. 123. What are you at, Lele? 115. I think 115 will outspeed that. I really don't want to take the risk. So in that case, actually, I kind of do want to risk it. I'm just going to drop a Psychic over on that slot. And I'm just going to go for a Shun Sap and get some HP back over on the 
Literally should be able to outspeed that all day. Defense type comes out. I just want my HP back. I just want my HP back. Reason I'm not going after Dragapult, like I get this thing special attacking. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hold up, hold up. That's something I didn't know. And that's a problem. Lele outspeed, yeah. Lele outspeeds. Pult's gone. I right, so Pult's gone. That uh, Wigglytuff's looking a little annoying now. Looking a little annoying now as it's plus two and it's expanded force. It's, oh, he's going to bleed. Just fine. He's boosted now. I don't like Tailwind Peter's out. Again, I saw his speed. I'm going to set up another Tailwind. And we all get rolling. Wigglytuff is scaring me. First fruit is coming out here. I do want to burn that thing. But more so, I do want to get off the Tailwind. I really do want to take speed advantage. I mean, I'll go for the Moon Blast. And I'll get off this Tailwind. Hmm. He can't go for first turn priority moves, which is huge in this Psychic tool. That's honestly big. That's big, big. Oh, Wigglytuff competitive? What is this? That was just a little trick up his sleeve. That's just a little trick up his sleeve. Thinking I'm bringing that into Cinema Wars. That was, that was just a little trick. Alright. That's fine, but we have a burn on Indeed. In He's not going to Dynamax, which I really, really approve of. And we should be able to outspeed all day. You outspeed me? You outspeed my lay? You outspeed my lay in a Tailwind? Okay, that's fair. Are you faster than a Dragon Bolt? That, that Dragon Bolt must have been slow, man. That's fine. Gleam's gonna take me out. I'm gonna get out both my Pokemon. Oh, Drifty eats. Drifty eats. I love. I love. Sucker Punch is probably gonna come through. I do not want to go Incineroar. I want to go Garchomp. I want to go Garchomp. But I do want to go Garchomp here. Do I strength that? Do I go for a strength I definitely got to Dynamax you. I do have to Quake over on the Wigglytuff. I definitely outspeed. Suffer if he goes for a first turn priority, and if he does, I think I just sense that get some HP back. Who are you gonna Dynamax? That's a real question. That's one coming close to Wigglytuff scaring me, man. Wigglytuff is definitely scaring me. He has plus two on special attack, and I is fair. Is he part fairy? It might be. I know it's definitely normal, but I don't know if it got the fairy typing in uh when uh fairy typing came out. I don't know if they added on to it, which I can totally see if this thing being a fairy Pokemon. The Dynamax needs gotta be Dynamax, right? A little scared, a little scared, ladies and gentlemen. No way, it no way Wigglytuff's gonna do this to me. Don't do me dirty, Wigglytuff. Don't do me dirty, Wigglytuff. Bro, I didn't strength sap this thing. I did not strength sap this thing. Just imagine. We're gonna go first. We're gonna get HP back here. And we're gonna drop this thing down to minus one, which is huge. I like that. Give me my HP back. My HP. I'm only worried about Wiggles. And I am gonna hit before Wiggles. Oh my lord, look at that HP restore. Look at that HP restore. I do hit before Wiggles, so we are gonna go plus one on the uh, on special defense. So cool. I'm thriving with this. I'm thriving with this. I just gotta eat up a Starfall. I just have to eat up a Starfall, which I think Gar can maybe do. What you got, Gar? Wicked Blows can come through. I don't mind if you go down, but you could potentially eat this up, which I would love you forever. Nope, you do not. Guaranteed crit. Uh. Okay, that's fine. Here comes Starfall. Eat. Garchomp, if you eat, we win this game. Okay. So here's the play. He's gonna go. He's gonna. He's gonna get boosted here. I think we. I think we should be pretty fine here. We should be pretty fine here. We got out Incineroar. My boy takes out Wigglytuff. Unless he guards, unless he guards. No, if he guards, we're still fine. If he guards, we're still fine. Again, it's unless he has a first turn priority move. I have to fake it out here. That's a, that's Misty, it's not Psychic, so I like that. Uh, I think we go for the, the Worm one. Worm, uh, worm one has no effect. We gotta go for the Quake on it. We're gonna Quake over here. I think I just fake this thing out. Take off its sash. Because it's probably a sash mod, to be honest with you. Don't guard, Wiggles. Don't you guard. Don't you do that to me. Don't you do that to me. Urshfu is minus two. I need Wigglytuff out the way. Don't guard. That's all, man. Hopefully, you don't, you're not rocking protect. What moves were you rocking? He's rocking expanding force. He does guard. Okay. 
It's like his last option. We are gonna fake this thing out. I don't like one bit. But there goes the fake out. Fake is nothing. I had to pose that on the wiggly top. I, I I did not have to make a big lead. So again, we still out speed. I have to quake on you. Then I think I flare blitz over onto you. Actually, do I flare blitz over on the wiggles? Yeah, flare blitz. Oh, actually, Earth is minus two. I'd rather double up in the wiggly top slot. Let's guard on blowout speed. Then Sonora. That's if he goes for a first turn priority move. Seeing Rock and sucker, sucker Punch. He's gotta be, right? I swear, if Wigglytuff gets another max guard off, I'm gonna cry. Alright, no, we should be thriving here. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful! Because that thing's minus two. Wigglytuff's going here. So, is this thing not rocking Sucker Punch? Was this thing not rocking it all along? Because that's bold. That's bold. Usually, I like to rock a Sucker Punch on my, uh, my Ursha field. Probably rocking close combat with the flow, detect, and I would like Sucker Punch, right? That would be the play. I lose some HP here. We could blow comes through. That's fine. Oh, he, he's probably choice. He's definitely choice. Which is sad. Which is sad. He's choice. That's exactly what he is. He's choice into that. So GG, man. GG. Yo, Wiggly Tough. Yo, I give it props. I give Wiggly Tough props. That was a tough battle. Came down to the wire here. I really thought I really thought Wiggly Tough was gonna beat us, but yo, not today. Not today. Can we get a burn? Can I get a burn, please? He's minus two. You're not beating us out. Tailwind Peter's out. You're not beating me. You're not beating me. You are minus two, kind sir. And we are dark typing as well. Wait, wait, huh? You still have been DD? Oh, 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 there, oh, there. All right, all right, all right. Okay. I still have a berry. I still have a berry. Still have a berry. <laughs> Let's get ahead for this. I don't think Indeedy goes for a follow me. Dude, Wicked Boy coming out here. Yo, eat this up. Oh, dude, we didn't win this now. I don't think we're gonna win this. Not very effective. Pretty cool. Hit. I don't want NDD to go first. He's gonna heal pull so. Ooh. Ooh there. Can we that's not gonna KO. I need a burn on this thing. I don't like this one bit. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. I don't think I get a burn on that. Still my figgy berry. We are dealing damage to that NDD. Oh my lord, I've totally forgot about this thing. Um, I could taunt. Uh, no, I'm, I gotta go for a flare blitz. Uh, probably over on the NDD. He's just gonna heal pulse it up again. This one's gonna be really close. This one's gonna come down the wire. He's gonna heal pulse again, right? I'm gonna go for a wicked blow. He's gonna heal pulse. Yo, trigger my berry, please. Trigger my berry. Should be able to eat up one more. Actually, fig. Uh, this will actually trigger my figgy. Oh my lord, are we really gonna lose this? I totally forgot about NDD. I was just bragging, man. How'd I forget about the NDD? Right, so you're gone. Biggie Berry's gonna trigger. Biggie Berry, I need you. I need a burn on this thing, really, right? Right, I need a burn on this thing. I need a burn on him. Like this turn. This turn. I'm gonna go for a wicked blow. I need, or I need to be able to eat up too, but I don't think it's happening. Yeah, because recoil. I need a burn. Can Flare Blitz burn? I think it might be. Actually, I don't think it can. Oh, I need him to miss or something. He just lost? No way! Bruh. Totally forgot about the NDD. Miss. GG. GG. These are good battles, though. Wiggly Tough, yo. Wiggly Tough coming up hot, dude. Coming up hot, choice band definitely clutched up, but yo, I totally forgot about the Ndidi. We are now sitting 0-2 with a very strong second battle. We gotta win the third one. We gotta go win this third one. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and yo, that last battle, I thought we had it in the bag. I totally forgot about Ndidi in the bag, and you guys are probably yelling at your screens like, yo, jeans, are you stupid? What are you doing? There's an Ndidi that you forgot about, but it's all good. We're chilling, trying to look for a win here in today's video. I think I'm going to still lead that top of Lele and Drift Bloom combo. He has Rain Squad. I got to bring Garchomp for that Metagross. Does some work on it. Uh, do I bring Incineroar? I mean, two clear body Pokemon, I really don't like that. Um, hmm. Hmm, I do have the fake out though. The fake out is huge. He has Clefairy. Uh, I kind of want to bring Cartana. I kind of want to bring Cartana. Yeah, I'm like Cartana here. I like Cartana. I like it a lot. And we also have our coverage move with uh, T-Bolt. 
an expert belt with her later, which isn't bad. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. And if he leads physical attackers like Metagross or Dragapult, burn. Burn all the way. We're just getting after it with the burn. But I do have Tailwind, which which will be huge, especially with my uh with my Garchomp. Because a big uh, Pokemon that's going to be scary is going to be the Dragapult and the Metagross. And I counter both of them if I just outspeed them. Which I know I'll outspeed them. What's called? Ooh, dude, hold on. Well, he might. He's probably going to swap. Chances are he swaps. So I set up a Tailwind and just uh and just get after that slot. Might go into uh, Paloops. Hmm. Or do I just throw a burn over on that thing? I could burn it. I could totally burn it. I think I set up a Tailwind and T-Bolt over onto the Dragapult slot. Right? Is that the fight? Or I just throw a Moonblast. I think I just Moonblast pose that threat. I think that's 100% the play. Let me just Moonblast and pose that threat over on the Dragapult. Dragapult's going to protect. That's fine. And what is Ludicolo going to do? What are you going to do, kind sir Ludicolo? Moonblast gets blocked. And what is Colo Ludi doing? Ludicolo's gonna go for an icy wind to slow us down. That's fine. Ludi Colo. Do I see him swapping? That's real, of course. Or I just burn him right now. And get after that on Ludi Colo. Because Ludi Colo is a pretty annoying. I just burn that thing right now. I'm gonna throw a burn over on that slot. Let's see what you got, kid. What you got? Jeff should he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna get he's gonna get rain pelper in here. That's fine. That is fine. That's totally fine. Drizzle. He's gonna get a little bit of drizzle going here. A little bit of drizzle. He's, he's not gonna die, Max. Will this comes out? Bleh. Voids. Can I can I actually land here or no? That might take out my Tapu. No, Tapu eats. Which I like. Psychic like coming out here. Yeet. Get him. Take him out. Thank you. Ludicolo gone. Get him out of my face. Get him going. The rain is not working. I can T-Bolt over there now. Are you going to bring back out Pult? If that's the case, I am just going to Shadow Ball into it. Urshifu is going to pop. Urshifu, which I'll probably just Moonblast into. Well, you know what? I'm going to protect you. And I'm going to just Sunset. I'm going to just Sunset. Oh, why would I protect? Why would I protect, man? Why would I protect? Why would I do that? He hits through. Sunset does come out. Why would I protect? Why would I protect? Why would I protect, dude? Totally forgot about Unseen Fist. The thing is, I forget about him right when I click the move. Like, instant when I click the move. You gonna go for a wake of blow? Yeah, it's gonna go through. Unless you're going through a drift one, which I hope. You are gonna go after a drift one. We did put minus one on the thing. It's still absolutely trucking it. And, and, and that's actually not a bit protect them. Hurricane's gonna come out here. Blah. All right, just play. You get out, my boy. Huh? You get out, Garchomp. Drop a big old rock. Uh, who's he? Have? He has. I think we need Garchomp out here. Really, 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 really think we need Garchomp on him. More so than the other. Person. That's play. So Garchomp's gonna get out of here. Have to get after. Who do I get after? And I would love to try to throw a Moonblast on you. And I would love. Do I drop a rock and change the weather up? Or do I lower that thing? Actually, yeah, let's do that. Because if this thing sashed, I'll just take it out like that. I really, really like. Which I really, really like, yeah. He still has a Dynamax. Which again, I do not like that. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I probably didn't have to Dynamax here. The thing is, that Dragapult scared me. That's his last Pokemon. So I'm hoping maybe the Urshifu protects here. Or maybe misses his attack or goes over my Garchomp. Because Garchomp outspeeds the Pelper. Pelper's probably going to set up a Tailwind this turn. Not going to lie. And die to the Buffets. Because it's definitely got to be Sash. I think Pelper is Sash. Hopefully it's not Sash. That would be absolutely huge. That would be enormous. Then that thing goes down. Garchomp is going to get the Dynamax. Come on, baby. I want this win. We're going to go first. Don't get this off. What you got? Don't be Sash. Didn't even need to be Sash. It's still going to eat up a bucket. Are you kidding me? Pelipper's really doing me dirty like that. God dang it, Pelipper. God dang it, Pelipper. Hopefully he goes for like a Hurricane. He's going to eat his berry. He wasn't Sash the whole time, man. 
And a rock folder in KO. That's a little whack. I don't like that one bit. Moon Blast does come out. Ooh. Are you Sash, though? I like that. You gotta be Sash, right? He's the Sash mod. He is the Sash mod. That is huge. Urshifu goes down here. Urshifu goes down here. Wicked Blow comes out. We eat. Pelper, what are you going for? You going for a Tailwind, Pelper? I feel like you're going for a Tailwind. Rough Skin's gonna take that out. Okay, I like that. He was dead anyway. Pelper, what are you gonna do? Pelper goes for a Hurricane and it misses. That is huge because we both outspeed the Pelper. We both outspeed the Pelper. We both outspeed that Pelper. And in that case, I think we just go after Dragapult. Actually, no, Tailwind's up, so I don't know if we have speed to help or anything. Right, Tailwind's gone. Or do we still have Tailwind? We do not. We were just outspeeding normally. The double up in the pole? Ah, oh, dude, what do I do here? What do I do? Okay, I feel like, I feel like we have to go for, like... I feel like we have to go for T-Bowl here. We got the Pelper at least. And we worm went over onto the Pult. If we can. If we can, because he might guard. That's the thing. He might guard, and if he guards, I don't want to just uh, miss both turns. I'd rather get rid of a Pokemon here. This one's going to be super close, and I don't like it. Like, a little too close. A little too close. I mean, I'm kind of hoping you guard. Not even going to lie. He is going to guard. All right, so good play by me to pull back. Should be fine. Worm Moon comes out here. Nothing. Uh, T-Ball comes out. You out. How do you outspeed me? I'm confused. How did you outspeed me last turn? We have, we had Tailwind last turn, didn't we? Mmm. 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 Not liking that. Not liking that one. No more weirdness. I... I didn't see Tailwind say it ended, so I thought we didn't have Tailwind last turn. We gotta bring out you. We gotta bring out you. Our town's gonna get out of here. Is our Dynamax turn over? Or do we have one more? We should have one more. Right, we do have one more. Shoot. So I'm gonna leap wait, take out Pelper. I have to worm one. I have to worm one. I could have guarded. I probably should have guarded, to be honest with you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Flare. He's gonna flare. He is going to flare. He's gonna drop a flare. I kinda. I mean, that actually helps us out. That Pelper can't do much here. If I can take out this thing with a Wormwind. Can I take it out with a Wormwind? Please do. Tell to go home. Let's go. Let's go. That's big. Cause Hur I don't think Hurricane lands here. And Scald's not gonna do much. In a heat. Ooh. Ooh, did this guy just mess it up? Did this guy just give it to Jeans? Did this guy just give the win the Jeans? This guy just do it? I'm gonna go for an icy one. Eat. That's a little scary. Oh no, that's that's a lot scary. He won this game. No! He's gonna icy win and win this. I don't think I outspeed here. I don't think I outspeed here. Bro, no, don't tell me, don't tell me. Tell me he missed an icy win. Oh, that icy win to go home. Oh, we outspeed still. We outspeed still. Cool. Cool, we still outspeed. And we get the KO. Yes, sir, yo. Yes, sir. Good work, Garchomp. Good work. I thought he was going to take that cake, but yo, I think he had that one with a max run run. But we ended up getting our win, and we got one and two, which is awesome. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. We went one and two. We got our win in that final battle. That first battle, you guys already know, that was a tough one. We went up against a top meta team with the Glaciary and the, uh, the Dragapult with one of them having the weakness policy combo. It was just very, very strong. Always tough to win up against. And then that second battle was very, very close. Of course, I forgot about the NDD, which led to the loss. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.